Hey, what's going on guys? IO Studios here for another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an ice material in Cinema 4D and Octane. So this is going to be a bit more advanced than normal material and we're going to be using a mixed material and some subsurface scattering to make this look as good as possible. But uh, anyway, let's get started. I'm just going to delete that. So um, we're going to just make the subsurface scattering part first. Um, apply it to our material here so we can look at it. And um, it looks a bit weird because the lighting's pretty bright. But um, we're going to go ahead and grab a specular material. The roughness, okay, so this is an important part. The roughness, um, actually, let's go to our node editor. So click this here, click this button here to go to your node editor. It should pop up a window that looks like this. I'm going to grab an image texture. We're going to plug the image texture into the roughness. I'm going to open this thing up. And we're going to use uh, a nice texture. I'm going to include this in the description below. So this isn't super high resolution, so you're gonna have to scale it. You're gonna have to um you're gonna have to change the projection a bit. But we're gonna go ahead and grab gamma of six. Just like that. Looks pretty good. Now we need to set the projection here. So we're gonna grab a projection node. Okay, and we want um let's see here we want a box projection. There you go, that looks good. Um maybe we actually wanna Oh, we'll just do like that for now. Okay, the index, make sure that's 0 0.309. Obviously, it's a very subtle difference. It's um, That's the index of refraction of ice anyway, um, 1.309. It doesn't matter too much, but um, that's that. Now, um, we need to enable fake shadows, always enable fake shadows. Um, and we want to go ahead and grab our, let's see, your transmission. Okay, so I'm going to grab an RGB spectrum, plug it into the transmission, and this one, I'm going to tint a very subtle blue. Not too much. Um, too much looks bad, but very subtle. Bright blue. Something like... Maybe even that's too much. Whoops. Can you kind of tweak this one? Very subtle blue. Okay. Something like that looks pretty good. Now, uh, we're going to get to the actual subsurface scattering. So, medium... Add a scattering medium. Okay. Um, we want to grab a, a couple of RGB spectrums here. Plug one into the scattering. We're going to make this one pretty small, like just kind of black like that. The other one, uh, we're going to make it a kind of blue color because the absorption, we want it to be blue-ish. No, not too much. Again. Very subtle here. Let's see here. Something like that. And we're going to set the density to about 5. So maybe that's too much. Maybe we need about 3. I think I'll sell for 4 here. All right. Um, so for this, uh, let's see, gamma, maybe we do gamma of 7. Let's see here. Yeah, we do kind of need a gamma of about 6. Whatever. 7, gamma, whatever. Um, that's that. Now let's take a little look here. How does this look? Already this is looking this is looking okay, but um, we're gonna actually go ahead and bring down the reflection here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna bring down the reflection to about 0 0.3. Then we're gonna make a new create new C4D octane um, octane material. We're gonna make just a slightly reflective, so we're gonna do specular uh, transmission. We're gonna make it slightly blue as well. And then, okay, we've got this. We're going to go ahead and, uh, okay, the index needs to be, we're going to make an index of about 1.4. Um, and the roughness, we're going to add just, just a little bit of, very small amount of roughness, just so it looks good there. Then we're going to create shader, C4D octane, mixed material. Um, and we're just going to drag both these in here. So let's see here. We've got this. Now we want it to... So we want about 0 0.9. Whoops. Sorry. 0 0.1. There we go. And then we're going to apply the mixed material. And I'm going to just show you the difference here. So uh, compare store render buffer. I'm just going to show you the difference between using a mix and not using a mix. I'm going to let this render out here. Um, and you can see here, not using a mix, it looks kind of... Um, 
looks kind of uh, bland, I want to say. It looks kind of dull-ish, you know? And adding a mix, maybe decreasing the mix strength here to 0. Point, whoops. <laughs> 0. 0.05. Did I accidentally delete stuff? I accidentally deleted stuff, didn't I? Okay. Sorry, we should change the amount to 0. 0.05. Okay. Anyway, it's very subtle. The differences are very subtle, but um, I think they definitely help add to the realism using a mixed material just like this. And that's pretty much your ice material. So here, maybe could darken or um, make some lights a bit darker. I'm just going to tweak my lighting here to make it look a bit better. Emission, I'm going to decrease that to maybe 5,000. And this, um, this ice does look pretty all right, I'd say. So if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful to somebody. And um, yeah, I hope you all have a good day. Bye.